Today I'm going to show you how to fix the binding of an omnibus. We're going to bring this Marvel Zomnibus binding back from the dead. Do me a favor and subscribe, it really helps the channel, and like and comment on this video to get yourself entered in the giveaway. So the glue we'll be using today is this Laneco Natural pH Adhesive, which can be found on Amazon for just a couple dollars. And then I have a, uh, you know, just a regular paintbrush that I got from the craft store for like three bucks. So you're gonna be throwing this stuff out, so you're not gonna wanna spend too much money on it. Then I just got some uh, shot glasses that I got from the Halloween store, which I'll use to hold the glue. It's just a little creepier than a paper plate. So you wanna slide the uh, dust jacket off and not be a heathen. Because uh, you want to do this definitely without the dust jacket on just looking at the uh, binding there You can see the hole so this block here is Just pretty much completely disconnected from the omnibus. This is a notorious omnibus for having bad binding So we'll take a look at it real quick before we get into anything So as you see the ribbon is completely detached from the sewn binding and there's a little bit of old shitty glue there That I'm just gonna scrape right off before I even get into this but it's really only held on by the two sides there on the binding, like the bookend pages. So everything else is detached, so we're gonna wanna glue all this. So hopefully with enough little uh, elbow grease and glue, we'll be able to bring this omnibus back from the dead, because this thing is notorious for having bad binding. So you're gonna wanna uh, just basically get inside this area here and spread as much glue around as you can. You're gonna wanna get it on the actual ribbon itself. There's like little uh, divots in it that you'll see but that where the pages are supposed to sit. So you're gonna wanna get enough glue into there. So hopefully when it sits, it'll all just, from its natural weight, settle into the glue and it'll connect back to the ribbon. But you wanna get the, uh, the actual sewn binding on the pages and you're gonna wanna get the actual ribbon glued up as well. And you're gonna wanna use a fairly decent amount of glue, but like not too much so that it's soaking in between the sewn binding. So just be mindful of that. Just a, you know, give it enough, but not like too much. You don't want it oozing out like tons and tons of glue when you start to uh, close the book here. So you're gonna wanna get it in as far as possible. So you're gonna stick it way in there. Just get all that glue around. You're gonna be painting this bitch just like you're in second grade again, art class. So get that glue up in there. And uh, you know, hopefully this uh, will take and we'll have a sort of brand new-ish Marvel Zombies Omnibus after a little bit of work. Uh, they did just announce that there's going to be a reprint of the Marvel Omnibus, so that's the main reason why I just figured, you know what, I haven't done this yet to this, and since we're getting a reprint, I might as well just uh, try and fix it before the reprint even comes out, because I definitely was thinking about getting it, but if I can just save this, there's really no reason to get the, uh, the reprint, you know? Except for maybe it'll be a little smaller and save some shelf space, but that's about it. So you're gonna wanna get the glue in there as far as you can just like I said, all over the ribbon in there and then all on the sewn binding. So as we just keep gluing it up a little bit more and you're gonna wanna try and be as careful as possible. The glue will come off. You can always uh, wipe it off with a uh, paper towel before you actually like close up the book and sit it on your shelf. But uh, you know, try to be mindful of keeping the stuff off of the actual cover of the book and just mainly on the inside, so. You wanna do your best to get all the glue in the little crevices on the side and stuff too. So just make sure that everywhere in here is coated nicely on this end. And then once this end is good, then we're just gonna flip the book around and we're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side. So uh, let's, uh, let's close this book up for now and then we'll uh, give it a quick flip. So you see there's a little bit of glue coming out, but it's not too bad. So we'll flip it around and then we'll do it to the other side, the exact same thing. So. Let's get right to it and I'll skip through this quick. So in fast paced time in black and white, old school horror style, we'll uh, get this glued up on the other side and then we'll flip this thing around and then we will close this bad bitch up and we will put it on the shelf. And I'll show you how to put it on your shelf and also the, the amount of time that you should let it rest before really like trying to break it in again and see if what you did actually worked. So let's close this thing up here. Got a little glue coming out, wipe that away with a paper towel. Now let's put it on the shelf. So you're gonna wanna put it right on your shelf in between some omnibus on its spine. So all the weight should let the pages settle into the ribbon that you just glued up. So we'll move over an omnibus and then, uh, you know, try to find a space on your shelf where you can make it tight, but not like too tight. You just want it, you know, fairly tight in here. Don't try to harm like your other books or anything like that. So 
we'll slide this in right here and leave this book on the shelf for about 24 hours or so. I mean, you're gonna wanna leave it for a good amount of time and let the glue set and dry. So I'll let this sit overnight and hopefully we can bring this Marvel Zomnibus back from the dead. 24 hours later. Well, after a good night's sleep, or if you're like me, just up all night listening to podcasts and getting no sleep at all, you're gonna wanna check this book, man. So you're gonna slide the books over and you're gonna pull the book off the shelf. So we're gonna take this book and I'm gonna lay it down on its spine and we're just gonna stretch the spine before we even take a look to see if the ribbon has attached to the sewn binding or not. So you're gonna stretch this spine real good before we unveil and see if it worked, man. Did we save this Marvel Zombies omnibus from certain death? I for one sure hope so, cause I don't wanna buy this book again. So we're just about there and ready to check out, see if there's an eye, see if the ribbon took to the sewn binding. And look at that, man. The sewn binding is now attached to the ribbon. It's perfect. There isn't sloppy glue mess all over. It looks so good. We got a little eye there now. So this book is just looking great, man. Let's flip it around to the other side and check it out. And this side as well just took perfectly. So the glue worked phenomenal. The book is back from the dead and it's looking great, man. So this fix was definitely a success. Glad to have the Marvel Zombies Omnibus back in shape, back from the dead. Let me know what you thought of this video down in the comments. Have you done this before? Have you been thinking about doing it? Did this video help you if you watched it? Uh, let me know down in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching. When we hit 1,000 subscribers, we are giving away Thor by Walter Simonson Omnibus and a mystery slab. All you got to do to get yourself entered in a giveaway is be subscribed to the channel, like and comment on a video where I mentioned this giveaway. When we hit 1,000 subs, I'll use a random comment generator to announce the winner. Good luck.